fuck is it? Is it finally here? Local pickup video. There's something in my brain telling me today to go check out the local used movie and music shop. And I'm glad I listened to that little voice in my head because when I got there, it signs up 25% off. Like, perfect. Now, they didn't have a whole lot that I wanted to take advantage of the sale, but I think I did I. Uh, so up first is a Something Weird video DVD, The Gruesome Twosome. Uh, it's uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis, 1967 flick. Never heard of it before, but it's a Something Weird release, so why not grab it? Uh, this program contains graphic violence. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's shocking for a flick that old. But Up next, we got an AGFA release. Ninja Zombie. Yeah, don't know anything about it, but AGFA for cheap, fucking grabbing it. Uh, shot and edited on Super 8 film. This transfer is taken from the original Beta SP Master Tapes. Okay, special features, uh, commentary, that transfer, behind the scenes. It could happen to anyone. Short film by Mark Bessinger. And interview with the star. Black vest. Oh, fuck off. Black vest, no shirt, no fear, no rules. Young karate expert Jack is stabbed through the heart by the vile Spithrachne, a martial arts cultist with a spider drawn on his face. Luckily, local voodoo master, tennis enthusiast, Brother Banjo, revives Jack from the dead to seek revenge as Ninja Zombie. <laughs> Sounds absolutely retarded. I can't wait. <laughs> Focus, you cunt. I think sometimes you just got to do a little sweet talk to it and then it'll listen. Oh, we got alternative cover art. Oh, that's fucking lame. <laughs> and then there's the disc art uh, this one I just had to grab it uh, it's been a long ass time since I've seen this flick and uh, I remember really digging it I had a digital copy so this one's got deleted scenes and shots alternate scenes a haunted world of El Super Bisto. This is one of my favorite projects from Rob Zombie. This shit is absolutely hilarious. Uh, basic ass release, though. I'll save that one for last. Up next, uh, 4K of the new Exorcist movie. Um, before keeping it in my grasp, I checked Amazon to see the price, and this wound up being, before the 25% off, it was like 20, no, not 20, you stupid fuck. It's like 11 or $12 cheaper, and then take into account the 25%. And just now I realized it's still sealed. Never even got opened, so... That's a fucking win. Let's open her up now. Let 
There's a blue K. Blue K. Basic ass Blu ray and then the 4K with the cover art. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of logos on these discs now. Fuck. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, brand new, unopened. And for used movie price, can't fucking go wrong. And then this one. I can't believe they had it. House on the Edge of the Park. The Severin release. All three discs are in here. We got Blu-ray 1. Oh, shit. Diodato Holocaust documentary by Philippe M. Guerrera. Cool. And then we got the soundtrack as well. well that's pretty badass. Uh, so yeah, feature-length documentary, the film by film triumph. Oh, explores the film by film triumphs, tragedies, and controversies of Ruggiero Diodato, Cannibal Holocaust. Um, fucking a. That's pretty sweet. Oh, do we have? Now we have alternative cover art. Nice and simple. All right, that's going to wrap up this local pickups video. And stay tuned because I've got a review coming from the fucking... What the fuck is it? Puke Master Barf Commander. So, I can't remember. What the fuck is it? Let me pull it up. Uh... Revenge of the Barf Blasting Puke Commander. That's the review coming up next. So thanks for fucking watching, folks. Stay sleazy. Peace.